Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to On Track Tuts. And in this video, I want to explore the new Empire updates in Studio One 4.6. So this really has been a big overhaul of this plugin. Before, it was quite a basic AmpSim plugin, but they've really updated it now where they include four really great amp head models, plus some cabinets and microphone options. So in this video, I'm just going to give a quick playthrough of a song using the amps, and then we're going to jump into Studio One and take a look at each amp sound and what the tone sounds like with it. So let's jump in and see what it looks like. Okay, so jumping into Studio One, I've just got a very basic track here. I've got two clean guitars and then two distorted guitars, and this is backed by some virtual bass and some virtual drums. Let's start off first with the clean tones that's available on Empire. On this first track over here, you can see on the inserts, I've got Empire inserted, and then this is the new interface of Empire. As you can see, there has been quite a big overhaul of the plugin. So this is the name of the plugin. I really like when you just hover over there, it just sort of gives you that rock and roll sign. Then next to this, you first get your amp head. So for this first clean sound, this is using a VC30, which is basically an emulation of the Vox AC30. And if you click, you can see you've got a selection of other amps as well. You've got the dual amplifier, which is an emulation of a dual rectifier, Mesa Boogie. You've got a MCM 800, which is an emulation of a Marshall JCM 800. Then there's this Blackface Twin, which is sort of a combination of a Fender Twin Reverb and a Fender Blackface um, basement head. And then finally, you've got a bass head, which is the Amp STV, which is a replication of the Ampeg bass model. Then going across here, you've got your cabinets. So you can see you've got a selection of different cabinets that you can choose from. Then here is your marking option. So you've got three different marks you can use, which you can switch and blend between. And then at the bottom here, there is a pedal board, but I'm not going to go over the pedal board in this video. I just want to go over the amps and then later video, we'll get into more detail on the different pedals that are available. So starting off with this amplification of this clean tone, we're using a amp mod of or amp emulator of a Vox AC30 sound. So take a listen here. So with the sound, you've got different inputs. You've got your normal impedance input, then your brilliance input, and then also the vibe trim input. So if I don't move that to here, you get that sort of vibrato tremolo vibe, but I just want a clean sound. So I'm just going into the normal. And then into the brilliant. That's just giving you some of that drive. And this is just going into the 2x12 match cab for that amp head. So that's that one clean sound. Now let's jump across to this track. Take a look at this. 
This is using the Fender Blackface clean sound. Very nice and full. So this has also got two channels and I've gone into this second channel over here. I could go into the first. There's also some different inputs here for the different impedance. So broken down onto the normal channel, you've got your volume, treble, mid and bass. Then onto the second channel, this is where you can add some vibrato if you want to. And you've got some similar controls, treble, mid, bass. You can add some reverb and then the vibrato. And this is also going to the matched cab for this Fender Blackface Twin. And if you click on the mic input here, you can see you've got different mic input options. You've got a ribbon microphone, then there's a condenser microphone, or you can choose a small condenser microphone with an XY coordinate setup. So let me just quickly play through these ones and you can hear the different changes of the sort of mic configurations. Mic one, mic two, and then blend in mic C or mic three. Sounds quite nice. You can untick this to link all the different microphones and even delay them if there's any phasing issues. Sounding very nice. Now moving on to the more high gain amps. So I've got two guitar tracks over here. I'll solo that and I've added an instance of the MCM 800, which is an emulation of the Marshall JCM 800. So taking a listen to this, it is going to be panned to the one side. Here we go. I'll bring that back to the center. Change some of the parameters. And then you've also got different impedance levels here, so you can have a lower impedance. For sort of less gain, and then the high impedance. Now, this is going to the matched cab, but just to give you some other ideas, you can click here and choose one of the other cabs. So if you hover over here, it gives you some details of each cab. So this is a four by 12, hard rock cabinet, it's a closed back and it gives that sort of classic 80s sound. You could maybe go for a smaller 2x12 to change up the tonal quality. But it actually sounds really nice with that bigger 4x12 cabinet. Now, moving on to this other guitar track over here, this is using an emulation of the dual rectifier, which is called the dual amplifier. It's also using its matched 4x12 cab. And let's take a listen. We've got it set up over there and you can hear this. This is a three channel, very high gain amplifier. I'm using channel two, but if you push to channel three, you're really pushing up the gain level, which is more appropriate for maybe some lead sounds or some very heavy guitar tones. Pull it back into the center. Add in a gate to cut out that noise. Change the cab. Change to channel three. To channel one. That's the clean tone. Channel two. And if you've worked with dual rectifiers before, you're going to be very familiar with the layout of these controls. So you've got the sort of upper band and then the low band, and you can just go through and tweak these. So you've got a lot more parameters to carve out the tone for your high gain sound with this amplifier. Now, another thing you can also do is you can actually use a third party amp cabinet or 
IR if you want to. So if I go here and I choose no speaker cabinet, it's going to sound terrible. It's got the, just the amp head sound over here. Very noisy and gritty, but that's where the speaker cabinet comes in and shapes that sound and makes it sound like a guitar. So I'm going to add an instance of Get Good Drums. I've got this Studio Cab Zilla. So this is um, created some IRs of some Zilla speaker cabinets. Let's switch to a 4x12. It's using an SM57 and a V30 speaker in it. Switch out to maybe the Super Fat Boy 2x12 with an off axis SM57. Or maybe add in a second cabinet, so an angled 4x12 with it as well. So you really do have a lot of flexibility where you can use your own third-party IRs and speak emulations if you don't want to use the included ones. But I'm just going to jump back and go for this 4x12 over here, just compare the sound. Sounds pretty good for the included stock cabinets, but like I said, if you want to, you can go for some third-party IRs. And then lastly, there is a base emulation plugin. So I've got this Eurobase um, instrument over here. I'm just going to play it without the Empire so you can hear just the raw DI sound of this instrument. <laughs> Then I'm going to add Empire. And as you can see, this is using the Amp STV, which is an emulation of the bass amp head. And it's going into the big 8x10 bass speaker cabinet. And it now sounds like this. Before. So really just adding some body to that sound. And as you can see, you've got your different inputs for normal. There's two different channels and then the bright channels. So that's covering the amp models that are available to you with Empire and the updates. You've got these different guitar amp head models and then a bass amp head model, then your different cabinet options that you could choose. Like I showed you, you could use third-party IRs if you want, if you've got that software. And then also you've got your mics that you can use, that you can blend and create the sound that you want. So I hope that's given you a very good eye-opener to the new updates to Empire. It really has been a big update. I did find that before the previous version that was included was a bit lacking, but they've really jumped up the game and given some great amp models here for some guitar tones that we can sculpt for our guitars and our basses. So there you go, that's Studio One 4.6 and a new update to Empire. It really is a great big update and if you're a guitarist and you're looking for amp tones, it's really a very nice plugin that's included stock in Studio One. And like I said, it includes some very well-known models in it, so you can go for the tones that you're after. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to be notified of future videos. And if you haven't checked out already, I've done some courses on Udemy that cover Studio One across all different types of tools and techniques. I'll leave links in the description below to those courses, so please check those out if you want to take your Studio One skills further. So that's me from On Track Tuts. Catch you in the next video.